Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I'm excited to share with you guys 10 best study tips that will help you pass your FE exam in 2023. I've compiled these tips by talking to hundreds of students that passed the FE exam in 2022. These tips are going to help you create an effective study plan, stay motivated and make the most of your study time. Now, if you want to pass your FE exam in 2023, go ahead and comment below 2023 and let's get started. Oh, yeah. Tip number one, the specifications. Start by downloading the specification from the NCS website. The specification will provide you with the list of the subject that you have to study for your FE exam. Take some time to go over it and try to identify your strengths and your weaknesses. And also keep it handy and use it so that you can check off the subject that you have studied so that you can keep track of your progress. Tip number two, the reference handbook. Get the latest version of the reference handbook from your NCS account. Now, the reference handbook will be your go-to resource for most of the equations and concepts you need to know for your FE exam. Use it while studying, and when you're not feeling motivated to study, just skimming through the reference handbook will help you remember where the equations are, which will save you so much time on the exam. Also, make sure to download the PDF version of the handbook and get familiar with the search function Control shift f because that's the search function you will have on your exam. Tip number three, study plan. Create an FE study plan that works for your schedule. Whether you want to prepare for three, four, or six months, a study plan will help you stay organized and motivated. Also, check out some of the study plans here that have helped our students pass the FE exam in four months. Now, remember, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So make sure you have a study plan. And if you guys need help with that, go ahead and comment below study plan. Tip number four, time block. Use time blocking to be more intentional and efficient with your study time. Block out specific times every day when you will be studying and stick to your schedule. This will help you form a study habit and reduce the need on relying on willpower. Time blocking can also help you avoid distractions and make your study sessions more productive. You should definitely try it out and you can learn more about it here. Tip number five, calculator. On the FE exam, you are allowed to use certain calculators, but my favorite is the TI-36X Pro. I find it easy to use and it has many useful functions. Now, it doesn't matter which calculator you use, but it's important that you are familiar with it. Knowing your calculator really well can save you a lot of time during the exam. So be sure to know all the functions it can perform and also be careful when entering numbers in your calculator to avoid any mistakes. Now, if you'd like me to do a video on important calculators, calculator functions, go ahead and comment below calculator. Tip number six, cheat sheet. One helpful tool when preparing for the FE exam is a cheat sheet. I personally found cheat sheets to be very useful when I was preparing for my FE exam. And that's why we created a 30 page cheat sheet that has important concepts and equations that you need to know for your FE exam. And you can download it here. Now, in addition to using our cheat sheet, I also recommend creating your own. And here are some of the things that you can include in your cheat sheet. Now, one of the things that you can add is steps for solving a specific problem or using a specific equation. You can also also add e important equations and concepts that are not on the reference handbook. Common unit conversions that you frequently use, go ahead and add that as well. And then the last thing we have is common mistakes that you make during your studies so that you can avoid them during your exam. Now, as you study, make sure that you are always updating and reviewing your cheat sheets. This will help you remember the information for your exam. Tip number seven, study material. If you're preparing for your FE exam, it's very important that you have all your study material ready to go before you start studying. This will save you time, help you stay focused, and make your study sessions very productive. Now, there are many resources available to help you prepare, but not all of them are equally effective. So take some time to research and find the right study material that will help you achieve your goal in 2023. Now, if you're on a budget, there are some free FE problems available on YouTube and some affordable 
FE books, but if you're willing to invest in your success, consider taking one of our courses. Our courses have unlimited lifetime access and a guarantee of success. And you can learn more about our courses in this video here. Tip number eight, review sessions. My students have find review sessions very helpful when it comes to retaining the information for the FE exam. We cover so many subjects and it can be overwhelming to remember everything. So if you struggle with this, I recommend setting aside some time each week to review your notes and the problems you covered. This can also help you identify any areas where you need to spend more time studying. You can also redo the problems that you got wrong to make sure that you grasp the concepts. Another helpful tip is to review your notes briefly every day before bed. This can help reinforce the concepts you have learned and improve your retention of the material. Overall, with a little effort and dedication, you can improve your ability to retain information you need to succeed on your FE exam. Tip number nine, practice exams. It's very important to take at least one practice exam to prepare for the FE. Mimicking the exam environment can be a very helpful way to mentally prepare. So make sure that you time yourself and take a 25 minute break after reaching question 55. Additionally, having a strategy for when to flag questions can save you time and increase your chances of passing the FE exam. Because remember, the goal is not necessarily to get every question correct, but to answer as many questions as possible in order to pass your FE exam. Now, if you answer which practice exams to take, or if you want to learn more about the exam strategy, go ahead and check the links in the description below. And lastly, tip number 10, healthy balance. Alex was a student that stopped doing all the activities he enjoyed in order to focus on studying for his FE exam. However, he was unable to pass his FE until he started incorporating his hobbies into his routine again. Guys, it's important to remember that taking breaks exercising, spending time with your loved ones are important to the success of your FE journey. Don't sacrifice your entire life for work and studying. It will lead to burnout and negatively impact your learning and productivity. The key is to study efficiently rather than putting in long hours. And taking breaks will actually help you process the information better, retain it for your FE and pass your FE exam quickly. So that concludes our video and we wish all of you guys the best of luck on your FE exam this year and happy new year to all of you. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out these two playlists here, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,